probably most famous as an early example of Hollywood location-based shooting. Call Northside 777 is interesting both as an historical artifact and as a standard fiction. While assertively based on quote-unquote real events, it is very far from being a documentary, at least not the kind of documentary the filmmakers might have thought they were making. The title refers to an ad placed in the Chicago Times by charwoman Tilly Wiecek, Kasia Orzewski, who offers a $5,000 reward to anyone with information that can prove her son, Frank, Richard Conti, did not kill a policeman 11 years earlier. Newspaperman P.J. McNeil, James Stewart, is assigned to look into it. Initially skeptical, he becomes convinced that Frank is innocent. The film follows his efforts to uncover the truth and get Frank pardoned. In other words, the WeCheck situation presents what journalists call a great story. And the film may be based on fact, but the storytelling is sheer melodramatic manipulation. Frank, his mother, and ex-wife Helen, Joanne de Berg, are virtual saints, while those who try to thwart McNeil's efforts are cold and heartless. And while McNeil eventually succeeds in persuading the pardon board of Frank's innocence, it is only because a sudden, last-minute idea leads him to the necessary evidence, which, of course, arrives just in the nick of time to give Stewart the chance to exercise his signature tremulous outrage. It's high-calorie hokum, about as far removed from the moral complexities of everyday life as something shot on the back lot, but undeniably compelling. Nonetheless, it is a vivid record of the Chicago locations at the time of the production, 1948, since the camera inevitably picks up much, much more than the story needs to reveal an impoverished, dangerous environment almost in spite of the melodramatic intentions. Beautifully photographed by Joseph McDonald, every perspective reveals an unfamiliar, disquieting world. A mammoth Baroque church, for example, towers over Tilly Wiecek's neighborhood of ramshackle wood frame houses in an image of unspoken hierarchical domination. The inside of the state penitentiary, a multi-story panopticon, is shiny, impersonal, devastatingly inhuman, and a terrifying indictment of the system at its most brutally efficient. Smoke hangs heavily in the air in the bars, alleys, and pool halls in the rugged neighborhoods adjoining the slaughterhouses, while exposed wires dangle from the ceilings of dank tenement apartments. There is little doubt that these unfiltered quotidian images were selected to heighten the good story of Tilly Wiecek's determination to free her son. They also fashionably exploited the post-Italian neorealist model of accentuating the warts of the messy world over glossy studio perfection. But the mess revealed bursts the narrative contrivances to assert a presence of its own that underlines how conventionally the images are used. An affecting social tearjerker, Call Northside 777 is little better than cinematic muckraking, but the dark reality it stirs up assures a power far greater than the two-handkerchief story.